Hey fellow Impact Wrestling fans, it's your boy BQ here checking in for the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Many apologies for going several days without putting any kind of content up, but I have been traveling. Just flew into Las Vegas a few days ago where my dad lives, and then uh, we traveled over to California where my mom and brother lives. My brother just graduated a police academy out there, so surprising my uh, mom and brother. But been on the road, actually haven't even watched the last two weeks of Impact. So I'm going to have to catch up on those, but that's a lot of the reason. Um, if you listen to the weekly impact review podcast that I've been out of pocket, um, just lots of things going on with me right now. And I'll probably be out of pocket about three more weeks on the review. But anyway, let's get to this real good news. If you already have the Twitch app, if you don't get it, but the brace for impact show that wrestle pro had been, um, well, I mean, impact and wrestle pro have been promoting, is going to be on the Twitch app February 3rd. So this is this is really cool. Um, I had the, the card right in front of me, but now I don't have it. But if you're not familiar, first of all, WrestlePro is the one where um, is, we got the match on Impact with uh, Johnny Impact. Ver no, it wasn't Johnny Impact. Eli Drake versus Alberto El Patron. And, you know, kind of dimly lit, looked like a high school gym, not a lot of people there. That's WrestlePro. WrestlePro is a lot more successful than I think that uh that particular episode made us had us feel but the big show that they're doing brace for impact which is the, the dual show with the impact wrestling stars that's going to be on twitch that is the match with um Tamil Dashwood or whatever his name is I'm sorry I just know where is Emma uh versus Angelina Love and I think that's even the main event but that's the that's the big match on the card Emma versus Angelina Love Matt Seidel's on the card Follow Bond KM, um, and they're based out of there, so they're they're quite a bit. Uh, Eli Drake's on the card. Lashley was scheduled for the card, but since he's not a part of Impact anymore, he's being replaced with Johnny Impact. Um, Moose is on the card. Eddie Edwards is there, and there's a mixed tag with uh, Braxton Sutter and Ali on the same team. Alberto Opatron's on there. So th this is a you know this was one of those shows that when they were promoting, it's like man, that would be a great one to go to. Now it's going to be on a Twitch app. With that being said, another show that is going to be on Twitch is the, uh, is they're doing a live road show. They're calling it, um, partnering with border city wrestling. And, uh, I don't remember the other one. It might be destiny world wrestling. So, uh, they're, they're doing a show together. The artwork has Alberto Patron, Matt Seidel, Austin Aries, PD Williams, Eli Drake, Ali Moose, and Trevor Lee. So these seem to be the two, you know, the first couple house shows that we're going to start getting on Twitch. Some people say, well, why do I need that? The global wrestling network. If I have Twitch, look, Twitch is, is like watching TV. You know, there's going to be some special events on there. The global wrestling network is like having Netflix, you know, so they're, they're really two different platforms. I, I, I've even seen people, it, it really drives me nuts and I try not to let it bother me because I, I know there's, you know, ignorance to, to this kind of stuff. But when people say, oh, this stuff should be on impact and why isn't this on impact? This is why ratings are going down. Like if you don't understand the importance of digital media and bouncing your audience between digital platforms, and I don't really know what to tell you, you know, maybe, maybe look it up and like educate yourself on it or whatever. But this is, uh, it's really important to, to to um, have a presence on all digital platforms because one day TV is going to be gone. You know, tele television is going to be gone. Everything is going to be digital. People are going to be watching everything in their hands and on their mobile devices. Now, to put you guys up on a little knowledge here, uh, first of all, I want to say if you've been, maybe, maybe some of you remember me saying this. I only said it once or twice. I called this a long time ago. I said impact, you know, because I knew they weren't, didn't necessarily have the means to get on the road the way they wanted to. I had said like a year ago, partner with independent promotions and do shows together. That way you're not going places, setting up rings and doing this and this, and you're, you're working with their already established fan base or whatever. So it's really, it's almost like Don Callis and them are read the same business books I do. I don't know what it is, but I'm really excited for this. Um, I, I don't know how many impact standalone shows we're going to get on the road but you know they're you know obviously doing the wrestle pro one and then you know the other one that i just mentioned it's being promoted as an impact live road show you know and then small print it's you know partnering with these so 
that one kind of is more impact focused. But uh, to put you guys up here on a little bit of knowledge, when you have a business, a company of, of whatever it is, and you're having a hard time growing that audience, the, the number one thing you do to monetize, you know, to for revenue is to monetize your current audience as much as possible. That's the importance of bouncing your audience from one digital platform to another. Because if you've got, you know, X amount of people watching on Pop TV, awesome. But if you can get those same hardcores to watch over at Pluto TV, you know, to get the Global Wrestling Network to watch on um, on Twitch, you know what I mean? It, it might be the same the same audience bouncing around, but it's it's um, providing different means of revenue for the company. So that's like really kind of 101. And then from there, then you work on building the audience. But I think what happened in some of the previous regimes, I mean, especially I think with Jeff Jarrett, like it almost seemed like they were just kept swinging for the fence to bring in the new, the new followers, but you know, work with what you have first. So definitely get the Twitch app. This is really cool. So this is two shows coming up on here. Should be a lot of fun to watch. And this is the last thing I want to say here. Before I, got, before I let you guys go on this. This stuff is perfect for Twitch. Perfect. Keep that shit off Impact Wrestling. Keep it off television. Because it doesn't work on TV. Hypothetically, it's, you know, it's cool. Hey, you know, here's this show, you know, X versus Z from this. I mean, here's this uh, match, X versus Z from this show and everything. Hypothetically, it sounds cool, but it hasn't been working on TV. There's only been like, I think there's a Border City match with... Sienna and um, um, KC against Allie and Rosemary. Like, that was the only one I ever was like, really into. And then some of the Noah stuff I like. And then uh, a little bit of the AAA stuff. But it just wasn't totally working. Um, I don't mind if they do it a little bit on TV. But this this is perfect. The Twitch platform is, like, perfect for this kind of stuff. And what makes it special is that if you follow one of the other wrestling companies, you can't watch their house shows streaming. You know what I mean? So this is something that's really special and really cool that Impact's doing. And it's allowing us to watch everything that they do. You know, it, it sucks when like you're watching Impact and oh man, you know these guys are doing these various shows, but you can't watch it. Like now you can. It's pretty badass stuff. So been babbling here a little long, but definitely um, look forward to these shows coming up and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.